Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful minerals, look on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, and then look for my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, period, capital S period. Today's demonstration is brought to you by a special request of many that I have received saying, please come back. And I felt open-heartedly that that was quite a compliment to people who enjoy my geology videos that I made in the past. I've run out of geology material, although I'd like to go to a glacier, Yosemite National Park, to see a geyser at the caldera of that large supervolcano, and Hawaii to make a video on volcanoes. But I don't have the money, and I don't have the fam fancy enough camera. So, unfortunately, we're stuck in my basement again. But I hope you find these chemistry and physics demonstrations quite enchanting. The first demonstration is deals with carbon dioxide being heavier than air, what constitutes air, and how carbon dioxide smothers open flames. Carbon dioxide smothers flames because it doesn't allow the oxygen in it to burn, the flame to burn in the carbon dioxide environment. Oxygen in the atmosphere, in its pure diatomic form, does burn, or supports burning, I should say. This demonstration will show both the concepts of carbon dioxide smothering out flames and it being heavier than air. But first, a side demonstration. I have a ring stand on which Underneath is a Bunsen burner, or not a Bunsen burner, but a uh, kerosene lamp that I'm going to ignite. And I'm going to place, over the open flame, a paper cup. And I imagine you will think, obviously, that what ensues will be the burning of the paper cup. Let's watch it. Here's the flame, and here's the paper cup. And I see it burning, the paper is burning, and we will watch it. We say that the paper has reached its kindling temperature, meaning it's burning. It's smoking and it's burning. It's burning up. And if I take it off the Bunsen burner at this point, we see that the paper cup is burned. Let me lower the camera so you can see the bench. This was the burner, and over the burner was the paper cup burning. It burned up. I took it off, and you see that the paper cup is burned away. Now I'm going to take another paper cup, and I'm going to fill it with water. I'm filling the paper cup with water. And now I'm going to place this paper cup over the open flame. And we'll see what happens. I'll add a little more water to that. Now to our main demonstration. But first some theory. Nitrogen in our atmosphere has an atomic weight of 14 atomic mass units and the atmosphere consists of 78 percent nitrogen oxygen has an atomic mass unit of 16 and consists of 21 percent in our atmosphere 
Oregon has an atomic mass unit of 40 and consists of 0.9% in our atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and other gases are only 0.1%. Yes, even though we exhale, and all animals do, carbon dioxide to a certain percentage, it's the, and you hear about the greenhouse effect and the heating of the planet, carbon dioxide producing factories contributing to the greenhouse effect, that's only 0.1%, it's less than 0.1% when you consider the other gases present in the atmosphere, it's less than 0.1%. Now, carbon dioxide itself has a gram per mole weight of 44. Air has a gram per mole weight of 29. So carbon dioxide, 44, compared to air, 29, is heavier. And I'm going to show that with this enchanting demonstration of lighting these candles. And let's get to the, this process. Notice the paper cup is not burning it's filled with water and the water is hot and it's open the over the open flame but it's not burning now i'm going to ignite these candles which are on pieces of wood that are forming a staircase inclining the candles And the candles are lit. Here's pure carbon dioxide in this canister. I'm going to put it in this device which will release the carbon dioxide from the canister and I'm going to fill this Erlenmeyer flask with the carbon dioxide. I'm now filling the Erlenmeyer flask with pure carbon dioxide with the atomic mass unit weight of 44 and I'm surrounded by air which has the atomic weight of 29 grams per mole carbon dioxide is 44 grams per mole air is 29 grams per mole carbon dioxide is heavier now what will this mean in this demonstration I'm filling the Erlenmeyer flask with carbon dioxide. The air, when I release my hand from the mouth, will not flow into the Erlenmeyer flask because the Erlenmeyer flask is filled with carbon dioxide and it is heavier than air. Air cannot sink into the Erlenmeyer flask and displace the carbon dioxide because the carbon dioxide is too heavy for the air. There it is. There's the flask filled with carbon dioxide. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour the flask over the candles and watch what happens. And all candles in a stepwise direction went out except one because I ran out of carbon dioxide in the flask. This demonstrates how carbon dioxide is heavier and displaces the lower weight of air by the flame demonstration. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals saying stay tuned for more demonstrations in chemistry and physics. Have a good night. Goodbye. Oh, I forgot. Notice the paper cup. It's still burning, but it's not reaching its kindling temperature and it's not burning. It's hot, but not burning. I can remove the paper cup. Notice the paper cup is not burning.
made a bit of a mess, but it's okay. There's the paper cup. It was filled with water and didn't burn. It didn't reach its kindling temperature. And I'll leave you to ponder why that happened. Now I can say this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. Have a good day.